Alright, I'm Error, and uh, welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. Um, it's actually been a while since I have done any uh, content. I, um, I'm basically down to my last week of content. I think I just released episode 18 today. Um, and I think before that, I hadn't even done episode 1 yet. I was still on Assassin's Creed. Um, so I've forgotten a lot, but um, I've decided I'm just going to continue on with the main quests. Um, so basically, from this point onwards, we leave the uh, we leave this area and go to a new area, and we don't actually come back here for a very long time. Um, but um, I can always come back later and uh, finish off all the side quests and everything. I don't need to do them now. Um, and yeah, I'd rather get the main quests out of the way. Um, I've been playing a lot of Persona. I've almost sunk 50 hours into Persona. Um, and it sucks that I haven't been able to uh, put any of the content up because they block recording. So if I wanted to record it, I'd need a capture card, which I don't have anymore. Because um, yeah, that was a cool game. I loved that game. That was so fun. Um, but yeah, let's... Uh, get Final Fantasy XV finished. Receive with thanks. Y'all just leave the rest to me. Take it for a spin. It'll be a riot. Got yourself a new toy. I can crank up the fun for you, but I'm... Fixing the upgrade? Can do. Whoa. Niff make this time? Is there nothing you lot won't pick up? Gosh darn. I have not talked to Sid since almost the beginning of the game, so... Whoa. All right, y'all just sit tight while I do my tinkering. Here she is. Try her out and let me know what you think. All right, I'll give you a call when it's ready. Hand over your weapon and I'll get to work. Huh. Fixing the upgrade? Can do. <laughs> ah. Y'all brace yourself for power. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, finally. Oh, dear. Um. How do we get down on this thing? Up. Yeah, picked up jump. Uh, oh, my eyes. <laughs> I'm trying to use the persona uh, controls. Right, here we go. We saw in Galden. Oh, hey, get all the way I here. sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. No restaurants around, though. Wonder if anyone around here knows us. Why don't you try it? She mentioned having kept several cats back. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galden. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. What drew him here anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course. Okay, alright, well, I picked up another quest that I can do when we eventually come all the way back here. But for now, let's, uh, head on. 
I'm excited to do this part of the game. Oh, all right. Look, Prince Noctis, even the marshal came to say goodbye. Oh. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. Oh, really? Neat. I guess it's goodbye for now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Gonna be enough room for the car and everyone else. Mm. Guess it depends how long the trip is. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust him, always. Thanks, Sid. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it!
That's a nice photo. Where did you just open it? That can be the uh, thumbnail. Father, Sid, Core, and some other person. Wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Fuck you, Arden. You know... I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's yeah, amazing. It's actually not that far away. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So, next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and... So is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hmm. 
For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Insane. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. You never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes. But it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait. Weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but... You're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic's our first order of business. All work and no play makes it miss a dull boy. Somewhere has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in a while. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on old Wes. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not that far. They're like talking about it. It's like a distant lands, and you can like see one from the other. Uh, a whole nother country. It's like le le less far from the north to the South Island in New Zealand, and it's both the same country.
That is crazy though. It's like walled in. Just a single. Like, if, if this ship was any bigger, or this boat was any bigger, it just wouldn't fit. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty-odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Straight off the waterfall. <laughs> Pushing a little bit close there, great. Reminds me of Assassin's Creed 2. Sweet. What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Ignis, a little help? <sighs> Utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. <laughs> you want to check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. All right. Sid wasn't kidding. It is big. <laughs> Crowded too. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off? Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. All right. Um... Close to a famous photo spot. Sure. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's the same spot. Here we go. Gondola. Care for a ride? I'm starved. 
Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants... Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. It's picture. It's picture Seems like time. the kind of guy who knows how to cook. He does run a cafe. Hmm. Wouldn't mind sampling some of it. Uh, let me get this shot. The gang's all here, see? Us? Let's grab a bite. After the journey with His Majesty, he settled here and opened shop. He's an old specimen. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Hmm. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Do you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they felled the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. That was quick. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know. We have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants... <sighs> 
Huh. Um, my gosh, there's so much I don't remember. I must have just rushed through this game. Uh, let's quickly go there. Over. See if there's any anything to buy. Hey there. Have a good look. Yeah, food stuffs. Mm. is going to come up with a new recipe. Come back anytime. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. And we will go here because this is where the hotel is. And we want to skip. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Eat something? No. What would you like? It's because he got injured at the signing ceremony. I heard it on the radio. Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Yeah, so this is how you go back to the other um, other area. So if you want to go back and complete side quests, you use Umbra's power to go back in time. Because from this point onwards, it's uh, yeah, just a story. Come on, let's go see the dress. Oh, let me look up the nearest stop. It's not far. We can walk it. Sounds like we're close. Okay. Greetings. Let's have a rest first. It's bedtime. Sounds good. Oh, Gladi Gladiolus is so close to 50. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. Really I dig cool. it too. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I like that. Yeah, you can fucking whisk him and this random lady. We need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before mm. making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Okay, let's uh. For that drift, okay? Ah. And I get extremely lost. Oh, right. This way to the dress? Yep, same street as the estate. Seems we're on the right track.
Excuse me, uh, could you point us to the shop with Lady Lunafreya's dress? Just follow this road towards the Secretary's estate. And then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that's to be expected. Thank you. She's a big deal. Big? I think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. Yes, this gun down. Oh, the dress is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. Maybe. And it shall be. <laughs> Looks like the prince has a following. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. So, what do you want to do? Yeah. Okay, um, because I know where it is. Pardon me, I'm gonna go fight that uh, ghost in the in the painting. Twenty-five, all right. He's already got come on, all right, I'll just leave that for now. Save it for when we uh run out. Wildfire. We do have much in common, like our tales of picking up after the prince. Glad I could be of service. Apparently I have to find information about it first, so I'll go do that. Then I'll come back for it. Here's me thinking I could just skip a step.
So, care to take a cruise? Ah, the breeze feels good. Indeed. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Then I'll get something to drink. Bet the view's even better from a. I uh, was wondering when you might show up. Feeling a bit peckish, lads? Well, that's all I had to do. Be forewarned, this won't be a test of luck, but of skill. It's in your hands now, lads. I'll abandon the other ones because I don't. I'm not planning on going back there anytime soon. Wow, this is interesting. I don't remember any of these. Well, I'll grab them just in case we come across them anyway. That ought to tide you over for a bit. No. It's in your hands now, lads. Excellent choice. It's in your hands now, lads. You've outgrown your finicky eating, I trust. Holy shit. That is expensive. Increases experience points even by 100%. Increases all stats by 50%. That's insane. Well, I'll we'll save that for when I come return. across a really tough boss or something. Splendid. Where are we off to? Right, let's head back. Hmm, actually, I'll head here and see what, um... See how to get back up. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. <sighs> Greetings. You are not from here. Alessio's my name. Coin collecting's my game. I'm sorry, he's the guy who collects coins. Or coins specifically. Have you any? If you're willing to part with some, I'll gladly trade you a token of equal value. Alright, so I need 40 for ribbon. I swear I had more stuff. Well, ribbon's what I want them for anyway, so I need uh, heaps more. Anyway, that's, that's in game stuff. Keep them coming. Okay, um, well, what I might do is face the painting in the next one and uh, end the episode here for now and uh, come back and yeah, do the painting after and then continue. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.